just before I actually get into the video today, I completely forgot to point out in the actual commentary that this gameplay is a 90 kill TDM duo with Senator. So I just thought I'd make this after, just to say that this is the gameplay what you will be watching over the com. Thanks everyone and peace. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now this will probably be a double upload for you so we'll just see how it goes. It will be my first double upload on my channel so get some support in the video for that. But I just want to make a different kind of video to what I'm actually used to making here which is normally either gameplays and or live streams. Now I'll get into what the video is going to be. Alright so early about as I'm recording this about half an hour ago Charlie Intel tweeted that um, Apparently Raven Software under Activision Super uh, Vision is working on a battle royale type game mode for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I just want to make this video to like let you know my opinions on it and let you guys know how I feel about it. Alright, so I'll get into it. Uh, what do I think about a battle royale mode coming to Call of Duty, specifically Black Ops 4? Uh, overall, there's, I think there's positive and negative reasons for this in general, but I'll go through them one by one. So by positive... I think this is a good idea because uh, Battle Royale as a whole genre, it's like a game mode, is growing rapidly recently and is increasing in popularity every single day. Like H1Z1, PUBG and Fortnite are all extremely popular games and get millions and millions of players every single day. Uh, and it's also growing rapidly, I mean if you go on Twitch and look at Fortnite for example, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people are streaming Twitch. Streaming Fortnite to Twitch rather. Uh, I also think this is a good idea because it is different to what you'd usually see in a Call of Duty game. But to be fair, you can't really go wrong with experimenting. Like, if you don't try, you, you can't succeed. So the way I say it, like, if we're just going to try it, and then if it works well in Black Ops 4, or it works well, we'll bring up, like, at the start of the game, we'll bring out constant updates for it as the game goes on about it. Like, goes on in the game's life cycle of that year. I do think there's bad sides to this, though, as, like, Call of Duty is just not Battle Royale, it's not, the way Call of Duty plays, like, the fast game play, score streak, stuff like that, is not Battle Royale. It's, like, multiplayer, 6v6, 9v9, or, like, competitive 4v4, 3v3, like, fast, fast paced, first person shooters, the way I see it. So I don't think Call of Duty as a whole would suit the whole Battle Royale type of genre, in my opinion. But to be fair, if it's made well, like, as Fortnite is, it might go far with it. So the way I see it is I think we should just experiment with it first. Maybe try it out in the beta. If we get an open beta around maybe August time, I reckon we should just try it there. And if it gets a mostly positive feedback, then go ahead with it for the full game. But if it gets like a kind of negative feedback, like the fans just don't seem to want it anymore, then I think scrap the whole thing and just go ahead with multiplayer and zombies. As it was recently revealed earlier today that they have plans to scrap the whole campaign aspect of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and just put their f main focus into zombies and multiplayer. Which also could lead way for them bringing in, like I said, a Battle Royale mode. We've got something else to put their attention onto since they ain't focusing on campaign, it gives them time to develop something else. So, overall, I'd say in my opinion, I think it's a positive idea because of the fact that you can't really succeed if you don't try. So if we make a very if we make a very good battle royale game, it, like it works with all like hit detection, aim assist, like we've got all that down to a T, like the storm or like what it is in PUBG, like all of that stuff, like what closes in the map. If we get it all perfect, I reckon it could be a really big hitter to be honest. Because Call of Duty, as most people think, is getting stale now. I think we're on about the sixteenth Call of Duty game. I believe we'll be on about the 16th or maybe 15th Call of Duty game in general. So, how many first person shooters can you make? Like, uh, copy and paste, like the same like Domination, Headquarters, like Hardpoint, Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy. It's all 90% the same with different guns, score streaks, time zones, like movement systems. It's all like the core, like the skeleton of the whole game is 90% of the time the same. It's just the edited like colours, like themes, stuff like that, what changes every year. But like I said, I am still hyped for Black Ops 4 in general because I do have a lot of faith in Treyarch in whatever they are doing, they do it well. So I hope you did enjoy this guys this video and please like, comment and subscribe if you are new here. I don't normally upload these type of uh, videos, it's just I thought I'd cover this to let you guys know what's going on in the whole Black Ops 4 scene. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.